What is up guys? It's getting late, but I got a video to make. Let's get it. Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Jaguar XJS but the F is going on is that is that tin foil in the back window okay tell me you smoke meth without telling me you smoke meth <laughs> oh, no. I know I'm wrong, man, but I don't care. If I'm wrong, I don't want to be right. That's just too damn funny. I don't know what that was going on there, but let's get into the video. First things first, let's start in the interior because pretty soon it's going to be too dark and I'm not going to be able to show you crap anyway. Um, believe it or not, nothing's broken here. Uh, the entire time I've had it, she's been exceptionally reliable. All of the stuff has worked except the cigarette lighter, which we ended up fixing to a point we have it hooked up to a, a light in there, which I don't think is the right amperage or voltage or whatever, because it doesn't work with the fast charger, but whatever. Um, all the other lights and stuff in here work. The power roof works. The windows work. Everything has worked as described. Same thing with the lights um, on the dash and whatnot. I guess I got to put the keys in for that, huh? You can see all the lights and stuff work. Everything has worked pretty much as described, man. She's been pretty, pretty friggin' reliable on that. And coming from a Jaguar for electrical stuff, that's a shocker. Getting outside to the outside of the car, pretty much the same thing. Now, I haven't really seen, like, paint fade, so to speak. Um, as, you know, the person that I got it from may have done some, like, ceramic... Uh, waxing or whatever to try to make the faded spots not look as bad and i've run it through multiple washes at this point but overall i mean outside of the clear coat that was already faded when we got it she's been pretty good man no issues there she's been pretty straight uh, and it's actually really not rough um i hit it with a da and got a lot of the residual crap out of it now i'd have to hit it with a little bit a grittier compound to really get in here to make this super smooth and then I might even you might even be able to just spray it you might I don't know I'm not a paint paint guy don't get me to lying um, didn't replace the tires I thought about replacing the tires but um because when I first got it the sidewalls looked like they were cracking right they were and I don't think tires can repair themselves but now they're not they're perfectly good and maybe that was just driving it out to vegas or whatever the wheels look really good i don't know what if that's normal or not i think that's asinine with people putting friggin weights on the damn wheels that's just stupid um but yeah everything has worked out well there i mean tires have been good she run exceptionally well windows all work top has been good and especially after having it out in vegas in that super you know that sun that just beats on you and it's no different than uh kansas or oklahoma the places this car has really been and then you know we got it from texas so uh the top is held up i guess exceptionally well same thing with the front tires you know everything is held up well now let's take a look in that engine compartment because i know that's what you guys want to see you want to see me pull one of those plugs and see if there's oil or water in it right i know yeah, always want the bad stuff, huh? Seats have been good, too. All right, let's see if we can get something in here. I think I had to use the key to do that, right? That's what I used last time. There was this little thing that came with it. It said Class of 17 on it. Obviously, I didn't graduate in 2017. And uh, that's what they used to do this. Uh-oh, I guess it didn't fully pop. Let's try that again. Well, should be open. Uh-oh. 
key word should be. There she goes. There she goes. All right. Up, lock. All right, now she's locked in a place we can go around to the other side. I mean, look, she's still... And I haven't had this open at all since Vegas. And she's still exceptionally clean. Let's turn the light on for y'all. There we go. Now we got a little bit of a better view for you guys. And you guys can see in here, like, outside of the little bit of dust and stuff, um, and probably that's probably from driving it in Vegas, she's solid, man. No issues. Spare key right there in case you didn't know. Brake system looks good. Everything's nice and tight. This looks like it was recently replaced, too. I mean, look at this, man. There's no oil leak down. None of that crap. Now, this one sensor is kind of like a common failure, which is right down there. I'm not seeing any problems, man. That looks like it's fairly new. I mean, somebody clearly took care of the damn thing. The fan is, looks like it's fairly new. So does this bo air box. But let's take a look over here at the plugs and see what, what I know y'all want to see. Well, CK, there was water in cylinder one. Is there still water in cylinder one? Let's take a look. No, but there is oil. I wonder if there is a valve cover gasket issue. But see, then again, I'll go back. All right. Then again, I mean, there's the plug. There is oil over it. That's weird. So I'm wondering if the valve cover gasket leaks from between these and causes that issue hopefully she doesn't misfire i'm gonna have to clean that out tomorrow for sure i will definitely have to clean that out tomorrow for sure because it's funny normally when you have a leak it comes from like here right ac system has been good everything on this car has been really straight but that's weird to see that oil in there which tells me that i bet you two three and four are probably like that too and that's a valve cover gasket Oof. and this one's not as difficult e even as the bmw was it's really just take off that pcv pull all these out take out the spark plugs take this top off put on the new gasket put it back down it's just it's just a pain in the ass just to do one i'm just not a fan but let's look and see if she's uh now that i pulled that off and there's oil all over it let's see if she misfires <laughs> She's ran like a champ though. I have no complaints. No, she runs good. No misfire. No shakes. Let me turn the AC on, see if she gets a misfire. There goes the compressor. There's the boom. Foam shit in the eye. I hate that. Look at this. This is the other big thing. Let me turn this off. Y'all see that foam right there? That's the other pain in the ass thing with this car. Like, no matter how much I clean this out, more and more of that becomes present, and that's a pain in the ass. I am sick of that. Closing the hood is kind of a chore, too. You gotta kinda push it up and then push it over because you don't have a second person to get it to line up. Otherwise, you're off center like this right here. So I'm gonna have to do this with two hands and then we'll come back. The tweakers are back and there's gonna be trouble. Hey ya, uh, hey ya, uh, the tweakers are back. I know y'all gonna be like, TK, that's foul. But you know it's true though. Tweak, 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 tweak. Twiddle little leak, tweaky, tweaky, tweak. <laughs> tweak, tweak. Asshole. All right, so we're gonna park her right next to the green monster. keep reaching for the clutch I'm so used to driving the Challenger again all right windows up seems to be running fine all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video just a little update video on the Jaguar XJS and how it's been running 
um, really haven't had any issues out of the car but I think it's time to sell it I do because I have to get moving I'm not gonna be towing around three cars and I got too many right now and uh, as much as I love that car and I really 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 do it only takes one thing to break and then uh, you don't love it so much anymore so I think it might be in my best interest to try to sell it before it does break especially considering the mileage and everything else on the car let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned more car content coming soon